The world economy is slowing down. We have a financial crisis in America. There is a risk of the oil price falling. Is the Russian economy heading for a cold shower this year? Я уверен, что мы нормально подготовились к различного рода проблемам. I am certain that we have adequately prepared ourselves against the various problems that have emerged on the world financial markets. What makes us confident is that over the last eight years we have managed to create a stable macroeconomic system. Our financial reserves, our gold and currency reserves are higher than ever before, reflecting the overall state of affairs in the Russian economy. So in this regard, we are insured against fluctuations occurring on the commodities and stock markets, although we are not closed off from the complexities being experienced by the world economy. Russia has an open economy today, and we need to be thinking about this. What can we counter the global financial crisis with? Only a sensible, well-thought-out domestic financial policy, which would help mitigate the problems on the world financial markets. We must watch over the stability of all financial indices, our Russian financial indices. We must make sure that our budget is well-balanced. We mustn't allow any ill-considered expenditure. And we must be thinking about how to strengthen our own financial and stock markets. Today both are islands of stability in the ocean of financial turmoil. Foreign investors' interest in Russia's financial and stock markets is as high as ever, and we welcome this kind of investment. Though, of course, we must watch that our internal spending doesn't go beyond the existing framework to make sure that we maintain our situation of macroeconomic stability. This is also a challenging project, and we are making every effort to deal with this. But inflation remains a rather serious issue for the Russian economy, although this is also a problem now for many other countries. We must suppress the inflationary surge which developed in our economy towards the end of last year. This surge was actually a consequence of the integration of Russia's economy into the world economy. This is a price that we are essentially paying for our presence in the club of world economic powers. Naturally, there are other factors contributing to our inflation. In particular, we don't yet have a full-scale internal market of food products. We are forced to buy many food products from overseas, and given the way prices are going up on world food markets, this is also having an impact. Dmitry Anatolievich, do you therefore support the, the price freeze on core food products? Strictly speaking, there was and is no price freeze in the classical sense. Indeed, agreements were signed at the end of last year about the level of markups used by retailers so as not to exceed reasonable market limits, but no more than this. Firstly, these decisions were adopted not by acts of state or government, these were agreements between sellers and producers of agricultural produce. Secondly, these covered no more than 10 to 15 percent of agricultural products. The problem also lies in the fact that food products hold quite a significant place in the Russian citizen's consumer basket, a fact that we cannot ignore. The conclusion is simple. We need to develop our own economy and agriculture.